if we take an overlook about the three stages of the Vichyan Renaissance, Galerica as the first phase, we have done that in June, pretty smooth. But let's consider Galatica as the warm-up phase for a series of significant upgrades on the Vichyan blockchain protocol level. Then Hayabusa is Z upgrades. And then Interstellar will be one of the important or critical upgrades as the third phase to finishing the first milestone of Vichyan Renaissance upgrades. Generally speaking, more than 11,000 NFTs has been minted and total staking is around almost 6 billion VAT. If anybody are still didn't migrate the Lexi node, you gotta hurry. First day, don't miss out the bootstrap incentive coming from the foundation subsidized. Also, after the Hayabusa launch, you're not getting any even normal visual rewards anymore. You got to do your delegate role, be part of the decentralization, be part of the protocol, and then you can earn the rewards. Uh, but also, I would say thank to all of the community members. We receive lots of the very valuable feedbacks, which is going to be our base to continue to roll out for the Stargate 2.0. Well, Hayabusa, we're gonna make a drill for the migration to make sure when we launch in the mana, you know, nothing goes wrong. Also, we will start to introducing reputable auditors to start to do the co-auditing. We basically select the auditors which can give more credibility to the institutional investors. We will definitely gain more trust and a credibility about the results of our codes, our delivery, our protocols. And then follow up uh, December, we're gonna use one week along with every validator, every delegator to have the smooth transition of Hayabusa. Stay tuned, we're gonna have more details in the release to guide you guys how to do step by step. I promise you guys there will be no hustle, just a few steps. That's a schedule, that's a roughly schedule, right? But I also wanted to highlight the significant upgrades included in the Hayabusa. Other than the normal technical upgrades to speed up EVM compatibility, the most important thing is we're gonna launch the new depots as a consensus. We call it delegated POS, which means every delegator represented by NFT you are holding will start to play real role in the consensus, in the real decentralization. And you're gonna select different type of validators. You will see the whole list of the validators. Plus, there will be a simulator still available for you guys. I'm sure the two simulators from Vichin Stats and Redino, they are going to update that as well, give you guys more information, more simulation. So that's the first from the delegator angle. And also from the validator angle, we're expecting uh, more institutions join as a validator. And so far, the platform like Redino has been onboarding 19 nodes. So 19 by 25 million VAT as a minimum. I think they are still on, in the process to onboarding more. And also we have uh, quite a good uh, institutions onboarding so far. We just announced the Key Rock, be the validator. We also announced the Bico, Franklin Tempton. Validators majorly will be done by institutions. But in Hayabusa, the effective staking will be based on the validator staking plus the delegator staking. Put them together with the different weights to be as the final effective staking as the base to calculate the probability of mining up blocks from each validator. That will be the major, major change. That also opened up the door for each validator, even the delegator, to make the different moves. They can make change every different cycle. And in terms of the locking period, still there are three different options for both validators and delegators, which means seven days, 15 days, 30 days. If you are confident enough about your holding, about your strategy, you can choose to lock longer period of time to be 30 days. Or if you are looking for flexibility, uh, you can lock up for seven days, or you can find in the middle to choose 15 days. A little bit before the Hayabusa launch in the main app, we're gonna also release the Stargate 2.0. And the major change, firstly, is layout change. So right now, you go into the Stargate, you can find the overall data to show like how many NFTs in the market, how much staking total as a delegator. But in Stargate 2.0, you will start to see the network status following the list of validators, aligning with each delegator to each validator. Basically, it give you a 
details of as overall what's the network situation will be. Even you can see average APY for each validator and the average APY for the delegator which delegating to this validator. And also you can check what my NFT, if choose to delegate this validator, how much APY I could get based on the real data coming from the last cycle. There's another interesting feature is actually to give the speed up or boost the feature for NFT minting. We get a few feedbacks from the users like, when I try to mint the NFT, I don't want to wait for that long, right? So we kind of offer the new feature. So it's just like you're playing online games. Some people wanted to wait, some people can pay for boosting. And for sure, as long as you stay longer enough, you will get the rewards back just to speed up uh, this process. And also, very importantly, all of the payment to speed up, to boost, will be burned as a vessel. So they will definitely increase the demands and also the consumption of the vessel itself. The other major change included in Hayabusa phase, it's actually about vessel insurance and vessel allocation. The current mechanism is everybody holding the VAT, you will automatically get VISO. But in Hayabusa, firstly, you have to play either validator role or delegator role, not just mint the NFT by staking your VAT, but also you need to operate that NFT to be the VAT delegator, to link to or to delegate to any validator. Then you are following the block mining process. By every block, you will receive the rewards. And the rewards will be automatically 30% goes to validator and 70% goes to delegators. You can be directly involved, included as the consensus level. So basically, if that kind of the competition between validator to validator or even validator to delegator, it will really drive people or let's say give you more strategic move space to, you know, play along. Secondly, very important, the visa insurance will be changed. That will start to be effective in the Hayabusa phase. Firstly, the visa insurance will be greatly dropped, which means the inflation rate of visa will greatly dropped, starting from 70% uh, off comparing today's level. Secondly, the VSO insurance will be correlated to the total VET staking. So which means total staked VET in the network is higher and then there will be more VSO to be issued. When we're getting started, if there is no delegator, only the validator, that means starting from 2.5 billion, as a minimum, the VSO assurance will drop to be around 30 something percent as today's level. And then we have the curve rate uh, as assurance of VSO. The total VET staking approaching to 30 billion, then the VSO assurance will be roughly 98, 97 percent as today, like equally as today's level. But still, the inflation rate is less, is lower than, you know, today's situation. Plus, some of the features have been introduced in the Galatica, like dynamic gas fees, uh, which definitely increase the consumption of VSO, increase the demands of VSO, and also link to all of the developments happening over the VeChain blockchain, whatever the traditional enterprise adoption, like Walmart, like, you know, um, a few luxury brands. Also, the strong growth coming from VBetterDAO. You know, just over a year, we better now get accumulated 4 million addresses, 40 something applications. Still, I can see 6 to 8 in the pipeline and 35 million actions so far. So we can see the strong growth coming from the V better now. That means more demands of VSO, more consumption of VSO. Plus the mechanism change as a VSO insurance, we're kind of burning the candle from both ends, right? Less supply and more demands, more consumptions. That's um, also the very major change, I think, I believe everybody should be aware as included in the Hayabusa. They will be effective since Hayabusa launched from day one. So generally speaking, Interstellar, there were a few changes. Firstly, in terms of the technical, we will have RPC. Uh, that's gonna be a very important feature to onboard 
more institutional partners and investors and make the developer's job much easier. There will be also the flexibility in space for each validator to monitor the network general state situation and make the best move to join as a validator looking for best API rewards coming from the protocol. I've been sharing this idea for a few institutional investors as candidates. Everybody gets super excited because honestly, they're kind of tired of like, yeah, we stake the VAT, we stake the assets in some protocols and getting the rewards. We don't need to do anything uh, most of the time, basically just following some upgrades. They feel boring. And this kind of the design will give validator more strategic move opportunity. So basically following this series of VeChain Renaissance upgrades from Galatica to Hayabusa to Interstellar, we're very expecting the total VET staking will be pushed up. Let's say our first target is jump from today's hard lock as 2.5 billion total as all of the validator holding to be 30 billion, including the validator pool and the dedicated pool. It could be even higher. So that's the way how we call it enabling real decentralization. That's the main angle or purpose. I think it's the right thing to do. And the blockchain is supposed to be like that. It's not like you just buying hold and doing nothing. No, you, you gotta you gotta contributing to the protocol level to maintain the security, enhance the security of the entire network. Then the network will be more stronger, will be robust, more robust and able to support more applications, more transactions, and more eventually more users. Time's running out. Don't miss the last days of boosted rewards. Get your VET and secure those VeChain nodes at stargate.vchain.org. Hayabusa's main net goes live December 2nd. Get ready for the next chapter of the VeChain Renaissance.